Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a big announcement on FIFA Ultimate Team during this foot birthday promo. It actually just came about an hour ago um, on Twitter. In the pack code, we are getting a sick SBC. The, the time frame is not guaranteed, but whenever they drop a code like this uh, into the pack code and Footwatch tweets it out, because Footwatch is like the master code reader, um, of this game whenever this happens usually these packs come out very soon after they get added to the code and as you can see here guarantees a middle icon second lowest overall version of an icon so basically this is an SBC it's gonna be an SBC because it's, it's a pack that's coming out and it's gonna be in the store you also see here uh, 82 to 87 rated rare player this is similar to what we had last year, and early on before this promo came out, I talked to you guys about the possibility of a baby icon SBC coming back and possible investments for that and what that could do to the market. Well, now we're gonna get a middle icon SBC, and we gotta try to figure out how this is going to make the market react. Well, let's think back to earlier this year when they dropped the baby icon SBC. What happened during that, that time frame? Well, that also came out in the same manner that it did right now. It came out on a Thursday, I believe, a Thursday night, late, late night. It was entered into the code. Footwatch tweeted it out. We had the same scenario of hype. So what happened then? Well, everybody went and they bought high-rated golds because what do you need for a baby icon SBC or, or, or an icon upgrade SBC? You need rare gold, high-rated players. So people went out and they bought 84s, 85s, 86, 87, 88, and 89s. They bought them all up. And actually, within an hour or two of that code being leaked on Twitter, you saw 86 rated players go from like 15K to 18K because people just went unassigned and they bought loads and loads and loads of them. And they, they ended up making coins because that SBC is just something that people love to do so much in this game. Um, I think it's going to be the same way with this middle icon SBC. But again, it always matters on one certain thing, and that is how much the SBC costs. I think the baby icon SBC earlier in the year this year costed about like 400 to 500k somewhere in that range where now if they put out a middle icon SBC it really makes me curious how how they're going to value that SBC. I'm looking right now for the cheapest icon SBC that I can find and so far the cheapest one that I can find is 834k for the gigs as uh, the gigs that's an upgrade SBC it's not even his uh, SBC. But the icons Puyol right there, 859k for Puyol. I think that might be the cheapest icon that is out right now, which is it's not too bad. Blanc is actually pretty cheap at 950k as well. So there aren't any icons in the store that if um, EA would drop a middle icon SBC, people would be like, okay, if I just want to get an icon, I'll go uh, get one of these, do one of these SBCs. But I think people are just going to do this SBC because. They have the possibility of packing a middle Vieira, a middle Eusebio, a middle Ronaldo, a middle Ronaldinho, and there's all those guys that are up at the top that everybody thinks they're going to get. But check out this tweet. Footwatch tweeted this just after they tweeted the code. There are 74 middle icons. Keep in mind, um, as the SBC comes out, exactly. On PS4 at the time, two over three mil, two in the two to three mil range. The, the, this range, if you want one, you want one right in here. If you want a middle icon, that's the one that you want. So you, what, how many is there? That's 13, that's 15. 17 out of 74 icons would be quote unquote desirable from their middle range based on the price. Maybe if you add this one in, there's another eight there, but still um, everybody is shooting for these top few, the top few percent of these icons and they're, they're not gonna get them. That's how it is. I opened two baby icon SBCs and I got Raul and I got Blanc. And I was super pumped for Blanc because that was a quote unquote middle of the road uh, baby icon that you could have gotten from the SBC. And, and we got him. And I was pretty pumped about that. He's still in my team. I'm still using him right now. His primer SBC came out today. Um, but if we look at his middle card, that's not even his middle now, that, that's his prime card. But his uh, primer, the Optimus Prime Blanc, came out today. So if you see that and you think about, okay, I can do that SBC for 900,000 coins or less, depending on how many how many untradeables I have in the club. And then you look at this card, it's 522k, still a good card. 
But a lot, of, a lot of people are going to get their coins sucked into this middle icon SBC. It's going to happen again, just like it did with the baby icons. There's going to be panic. There's going to be panic selling. There's going to be way too many people that are doing this SBC. Um, but there's also going to be ways to make coins off of it. So regardless of how you think the SBC is, how expensive it is, people are going to do it because they have that possibility of getting the Eusebio, getting the Hullet, getting the R9, all of that stuff. They're going to do this SBC. So... Requirement wise, we're looking at informs, we're looking at high rated golds. A lot of those are already invested in. So what is there to look at next? Well, people are gonna hear about this and they're gonna go sell what? They're gonna go sell their teams, they're gonna go sell their special cards that they have in the club, they're gonna go sell all their stuff so that they can do one or two or three of these SBCs depending on how many they wanna do and how good their luck is on the first one. So this is what you're gonna look for. A lot of these cards are already down a lot and they're gonna keep dropping, they're still in packs. So I'm not talking about these cards. Yes, these are gonna drop um, depending on when this SBC would come out. That's another big thing. But I wanna look at Carnivals, FFS cards, um, headliners, and other informs. So I, I think we're not gonna get a one through 27 team of the week SBC. I mean, if it hasn't come out already, I guess it still could come, so we have to be careful. Um, but the possibility is lessening every single day that it doesn't come out. So these rebounded really well after the initial panic sell um, of Foot Birthday on the Friday when the promo started. So if we get more panic during this promo because of this SBC and whatever other SBCs that come out, I really like a lot of these cards to rebound, especially Gabriel Jesus. You, you had the William that came out this week. Um, so now tons of people have a center attack in mid um, English league or Premier League Brazilian in their teams. And if you want to build a team around that card, this guy is a nice link to him. So that's one of my favorite cards that I think could rebound out of this promo. And there's going to be a lot of cards that rebound because every time there's panic selling in this market this year, there's a rebound um, because this market has a lot of coins. They keep doing promos. So people keep refreshing those coins. They keep, you know, opening packs. Even though the packs aren't selling out like they used to, they're still on the game and people are opening packs every time we get a new promo. So there are coins in this game to make this market rebound. Um, if you're somebody who wants to buy a middle icon, let's say you've had your eyes on, let's say you've been looking at middle Vieira for a long time and you're like, man, I want this 88 rated middle Vieira. And you see right now that he is 1.38 million coins. You're like, man, I want this middle Vieira. In this panic, before this SBC could come out, and when the SBC drops right away, in that first hour to two hours, maybe three, is when you're gonna see the most panic, depending on how cheap that SBC is. If the SBC comes out, you're gonna see a, a quick little bit of panic. If people decide it's not worth it, they're gonna go buy their cards right back. But the same thing's gonna happen, as it did in uh, the baby icon SBC. Let's look at, I mean, we've looked at this before. Let's go to Footpin and look at Baby Hullet because that is a very valuable baby icon that we're going to look at and compare to Vieira because they will, they will have similar market movements because of this SBC. So we're going to look at Hullet and look where this SBC came out. Boom, right here. 885K, it shows us his lowest point. I saw him under 800K in the panic right away. And look what he rebounds to two weeks later. He's back up to a million coins. The same thing's going to happen with this Vieira card. Obviously, there are different price points, but this 88 Vieira is one of the best midfielders in the game. Um, and being this cheap already, this is just ridiculous how cheap he is. Under 1.4 million coins, when early in the year, he was almost three. He is halved in price in these recent days, just because of the way the market is right now. I think you can see this card to get... I think you can get this card around 1.1 million coins in a true panic sell, closer to a million. I mean, I really think you could drop another couple hundred K just because of the, all the emphasis that has been put on the primer icons this year, on his primer version, on every primer icon. Um, there's just so much more hype around those cards with the dynamic images and such. But if you're somebody who doesn't want to spend the coins on the Viera, like the primer Viera SBC, and you just want this card in your team, Absolutely. It's an invest investing opportunity and an opportunity to, to um, pick up a cheap card for your team. Let's say you want to take the safe route and you think they're going to drop the primer hole at SBC. It's going to be cost like five to six mil, which is possible. Um, but you think, you know what, instead of spending that, I'm going to wait for a panic sell on this 90 root hole snatch him at 2.7, 2.6 million coins. 
and ride them out for FIFA. That's a good thought as well. If this card drops 500k, yeah, that's a green light. Go get it because it's gonna it's gonna go up another two to 300k before team of the season starts. Because Hullet is one of the best cards in the game, and everybody wants to use some of these icons. There are icons that will rise um, out of this out of this pro, um, promo and out of this this SBC. It's basically it's, it's just another way to cause panic on the market. The R9, 94 rated R9 with the cool haircut. 3.5 million. Imagine if this card gets down to three. I really think it could. Now, why could it go all the way down to three? We got to look at this on Footbin, and I got to explain something to you guys that I actually noticed earlier today um, that I do think we're going to see right now, and you're going to be amazed by. So the 94 R9. Yes, it is a big stat boost over the 90 rated, but look how cheap the 90 rated is. It's 1.4 million coins. Look how cheap this card is. Let's actually take a look and see where this card went during the Baby Icon SBC. He went down, he barely dropped. 1.7, went back up, and now everything's been panic sold off as we get into the end of the year. But he's 1.3 million coins. That's a 2 million coin difference between the Baby and between this card. 2 million coin difference. I really think that this middle Ronaldo card could get to 3 million coins flat. He doesn't, he doesn't have a ton of supply, but the panic is gonna be real on this card, especially with people wanting to get his primer and this card being extinct. Uh, they're gonna buy back this 94 because the 96, some people just say it's overkill and he's 5 million coins. So he is like 1.5, 1.6 million coins more than this. So there's a lesser gap between the 94 and the 96 than there is to the 90 to 94, which really leads me to believe that this 94 rated R9 could drop more in price. Now, I would like to see the panic start happening first. It really hasn't happened that much yet. Once you start seeing open bids on these icons, that's when you know the panic is happening. That's a true sign of a panic sell. Let's actually go to the 59th minute right now and check out and see if there is any panic on these cards. And we are gonna just see what's back there really fast so right now you're probably listening and seeing a lot of people that are going crazy hard on gold cards they're investing they're investing they're investing and that honestly might not be a bad idea but i am not going to put my coins into high rated golds that are still in packs um, that are already inflated just hoping to maybe get a couple thousand coins uh, of profit out of them I, i'm just not going to do that it's not who i am i would rather invest in the panic sell in cards that people like to use in this game and not invest in the SBC investments that a lot of people like to do. And that's just how I roll. That's nothing against people that are investing in high rated golds. I'm just saying, think about it, be careful, use what information I presented to you today to make your own advised, make your own um, self thought through decision on whether you wanna invest in that kind of stuff or not. In forms, they're probably gonna go up because people are going to wanna do this SBC but everybody's gonna be investing in it. And since we don't know what the requirements could be, and I don't think it's gonna be as popular as the baby icon SBC, I just want you guys to be careful with that and what you're doing. Now, another one that would be a very nice card to pick up in a panic sell is this Ronaldinho card. If you see this at like 1.3, I mean, you can't pass that up for 1.3 million coins. And we're never, this is the best version of his card that is center attacking mid because his Optimus Prime is a left wing. That card is always gonna carry some value because it's the best Ronaldinho version that is a center attacking mid. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Um, and then you're probably gonna see panic across all fronts of icons. You're gonna see some selling, even of these the prime moments players, you're probably gonna see some prices drop in that range because people are just gonna be selling their cards to go do this SBC. It doesn't make sense. It honestly doesn't, but we saw it happen last time. So all I'm saying is if you have the middle icons, I <laughs> hopefully you're out of those. Um, I actually have one that I'm trying to flip right now. I'm trying to break even on an Henri. I flipped one already today and I'm trying to get rid of this one uh, because this card, it's a right around 700,000 coins. But with Icon SBC and Panic, he is a popular one, but he could drop to like 500K. And that could be one that you pick up, stash in your club, play with, for the next two weeks and then sell them at 650k and make some money uh in the week's time so that's one thing you guys need to think about as well if you have your eyes on any middle icons there are going to be some icons the meta the popular and the best ones are going to rebound uh from this promo so again think about it think things through 
my advice is wait for the panic sell, wait for everything to be panic sold. Um, I just love panic selling and I love to pick up on the panic because this year the market loves to panic sell and it loves to rebound as well. Quick side note, really cool flip that I had today with this Eusebio card. I bought it for 5.5 million coins, flat, fresh, and I wanted to flip it um, just because I never flipped a big Icon Moments card like that and I sold him just about two hours ago for 6 million coins flat after I had been listing him all day. Um, it was nice, 200,000 coins profit um, on that card. That was a cool Icon flip to have. Uh, definitely something that I have not done before and uh, I don't know if I'll do it again in the future. It was kind of stressful. Checking, checking my phone and checking the web app, at web app uh, just wanting that card to sell to get my coins back, especially after this news of the Baby Icon SVC came out. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. If you have any questions about investing or what could happen to this market with this SBC, uh, ask it down below. I'll be responding to you guys there. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.